Welcome back to our channel, UK Pro Writers, where we delve into fascinating research topics that have a significant impact on the world today. In today's video, we're going to explore the dynamic and complex realm of nationalist sentiments in India and Canada and how these sentiments are leveraged on the global stage, along with their implications for global politics. But first, let's understand why this research topic is so important. Importance of this research topic the research topic exploring the leverage of nationalist sentiments in India and Canada on the global stage is of paramount importance due to its potential to uncover how these sentiments shape international relations in an increasingly interconnected world. Understanding the implications of nationalist ideologies on global politics can aid in predicting shifts in diplomatic alliances and trade dynamics. Moreover, this research offers critical insights for policymakers seeking to navigate the complex interplay of national identity and international cooperation in the 21st century. Real-world examples To illustrate the impact of nationalist sentiments in India, consider the Make in India campaign launched by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. This initiative aimed to boost domestic manufacturing and promote India as a global manufacturing hub. It led to shifts in foreign direct investment and trade relations, showcasing the global implications of India's nationalist economic policies. In Canada, the controversy surrounding the Quebec sovereignty movement provides another real-world example. The movement seeks to assert Quebec's distinct cultural and political identity, often leading to tensions with the federal government. This internal nationalist sentiment has international repercussions as it influences Canada's unity and foreign policy decisions. A prime example of the global impact of Indian nationalism is the Modi Doctrine. Under Prime Minister Modi's leadership, India has pursued a more assertive foreign policy, particularly in its neighborhood. The 2019 revocation of Article 370 in Jammu and Kashmir and the subsequent tensions with Pakistan highlighted how India's nationalist sentiments can escalate regional conflicts with global repercussions. Canada's nationalist sentiments, reflected in policies like cultural protectionism, have affected its trade relations. For instance, the debate over cultural exemptions during NAFTA negotiations demonstrated how Canada's desire to protect its cultural industries clashed with the interests of its trade partners. Chapter 1 Introduction Chapter 1, The Introduction, typically includes an overview of the research problem or question, its significance, and the context in which it arises. It may also introduce the research objectives, research questions, and rationale, setting the stage for the entire study. Research Problem The research problem sets the stage for your study. In our case, a research problem could be, how do nationalist sentiments in India and Canada manifest themselves on the global stage, and what are the consequences for global politics? Research Significance The significance of this research lies in its potential to shed light on the role of nationalist sentiments in shaping international relations. It helps us understand how these sentiments impact diplomacy, trade, and alliances, making it crucial for policymakers and scholars alike. Research Questions Here are three sample research questions. How do nationalist sentiments in India and Canada influence their foreign policy decisions? What are the global reactions and responses to the nationalist rhetoric from these two countries? To what extent do nationalist sentiments in India and Canada impact global stability and cooperation? Research Objectives Sample research objectives could be To analyze the key drivers of nationalist sentiments in India and Canada To examine the strategies employed by these nations to project their nationalist ideologies globally To assess the consequences of nationalist sentiments for international relations Research Rationale for the research rationale, consider something like This study aims to provide a comprehensive understanding of the implications of nationalist sentiments in India and Canada on global politics, which is essential in a world where nationalism is on the rise. Chapter 2 Literature Review Chapter 2, The Literature Review, is crucial as it provides the context and theoretical framework for your research. Subtopics Nationalism in international relations discuss the impact of nationalism on Brexit and the European Union. Role of nationalist leaders analyze the leadership of Narendra Modi in projecting India's nationalist agenda. 
Global Perception of Nationalism explore how the international media portrays nationalist movements in India and Canada. Theories and Models Realism This highlight how realism theory can be applied to understand the self-interest and sovereignty concerns of nationalist governments. Constructivism This explains how constructivist theory can help in understanding the ideational aspects of nationalism. Power Transition Theory this discusses how this theory can illuminate power shifts resulting from nationalist movements. Literature Gap To identify a literature gap, you might say something like, Despite a significant body of research on nationalism and international relations, there is a noticeable gap in understanding the specific global implications of Indian and Canadian nationalism in the 21st century. Chapter 3 Methodology Chapter 3, the Methodology Chapter, provides a detailed explanation of the research methods and approaches used in the study, including the conceptual framework, research philosophy, research approach, strategy, and data analysis methods. It also covers ethical considerations, limitations, and delimitations of the research, offering a comprehensive understanding of how the study was conducted. Conceptual Framework Independent variables, nationalist sentiments, political leadership, economic interests. Dependent variable global political impact. Research philosophy. Pragmatism Given the diverse nature of the topic, a pragmatic approach allows for a balanced examination of both quantitative and qualitative data. Research approach. Deductives start with established theories and then collect data to test their applicability. Research strategy. Case Study India and Canada as Case Studies Comparative Analysis Comparing Their Nationalist Strategies Data Analysis Method Mixed Methods Combining Quantitative Surveys with Qualitative Content Analysis Chapter 4 Data Analysis Chapter 4, the Data Analysis Chapter, encompasses the actual analysis of the data collected during the research. It includes the application of statistical or qualitative techniques, depending on the research design, to answer research questions and test hypotheses, presenting the results of the study. Chapter 4 is all about analyzing the data based on your chosen methodology. If it's quantitative, explain how to analyze data with a sample size example. Use statistical software to analyze survey data from 1,000 respondents. If it's qualitative, explain how to analyze data with a sample size example. Code and analyze 50 interviews conducted with policymakers and experts. Chapter 5 Conclusion Chapter 5, The Conclusion, is where you tie everything together. The importance of this chapter is to summarize your findings, answer your research questions, and discuss the implications for global politics. Chapter 6 Recommendation in Chapter 6, the Recommendation Chapter, you suggest actions or policies based on your research findings. Recommendations for this topic could include advocating for more diplomatic dialogue, promoting global awareness of the consequences of nationalist rhetoric, and encouraging international cooperation to address common challenges. Suggestions for Future Research Lastly, let's discuss some suggestions for future research. Future studies could delve deeper into the role of social media in promoting nationalist sentiments, investigate the impact of nationalist sentiments on global trade policies, or explore the relationship between nationalism and migration patterns. And that concludes our overview of the research journey on the topic of leveraging nationalist sentiments in India and Canada on the global stage. Stay tuned for more exciting research explorations on UK Pro Writers. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.